is Damian McNamara with Global Medical News Network. It's at the American Society of Clinical Oncology annual meeting in Orlando. And with me is Dr. Chandra Bellani, who's director of Penn State Cancer Institute in Hershey, Pennsylvania. At this meeting, you presented a randomized, double-blind, phase three study of 663 patients who received pemetrexed for maintenance therapy. And you showed for the first time an overall survival advantage compared to placebo for patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. Can you tell me what advantage this particular agent has for um, patients after they complete the four cycles of platinum-based chemo? So this is the first randomized study which uh, randomized patients to pemetrexid as a single agent versus placebo. The randomization was two to one, and uh, uh, the primary endpoint of the trial was progression-free survival, and overall survival was the secondary objective. And the progression-free survival showed a significant progression-free survival advantage with a p-value of 0 0.00001. Sure. And the hazard ratio there was 0 0.60. And uh, the survival was not mature uh, last year when we presented the data. And now we have a mature survival after all the events that were required for analysis of the survival happened. And we now see that there is a significant benefit in the intent to treat population when pemetrexid was given over placebo. And that is also significant, and the p-value is 0 0.012, and the hazard ratio is 0 0.79. And what we see is that there is a three-month improvement in overall survival. Now, in addition, what we see is that the benefit is primarily limited to patients with non-squamous cell carcinoma. And there we see actually a benefit of five months when pemetrexid is compared to placebo. So what would your take-home message so be? So my take-home message would be that maintenance therapy should become the next treatment paradigm for patients with advanced disease who have stable disease or response after the initial four cycles of chemotherapy. Do you have any idea, um, since this drug will be given maintenance and long-term, right. potentially, what the cost involved would be? Well, the cost involved, if there is survival advantage, in the, the median survival of non-small cell lung cancer patient was eight months, or eight to ten months in this day and age. If you're able to improve the survival of these patients by 50% at the median level, but we actually are improving the overall outcome of 50% of the patients who go on trial, or who go on the maintenance treatment, then that's significant as compared to what would be spent for the single agent. Right, so you're saying the clinical be benefit way out. I would say, it's meaning in lung cancer, we have never seen a five-month survival advantage with any treatment at the present point. So the Pemetrix head, which is given as a 10-minute IV infusion, is easily administered in the outpatient setting. And there are no infusion-related uh, side effects. The toxicities are minimal. You see grade one and two toxicities. Grade three fatigue was seen in only 5% of the patients. And only 5% of the patients had to discontinue drugs because of uh, primarily fatigue and neutropenia. Neutropenia was seen in only 3% of the patients. So with 3 to 5% incidence of serious toxicity, 95% of the patients do benefit. If the patients have responsive tumors and also have tumors which stay in that stable state, we are converting an acute disease to a chronic disease. That's the advantage. This is Damian McNamara for Global Medical News Network.